Good morning, my name is Kim Carlisle and we have a shop full of Heisey glassware. We're located just north of Indianapolis, Indiana, so if you'd like to pay us a visit, all you have to do is call, text, or email and set up an appointment because we only open our shop by appointment. This video this morning is day number three of our 12 days of Christmas series. And what we do, we go through one table and one case each day on a video, Monday through Saturday, and then a week from now, we'll do Monday through Saturday again. So this is day number three. You might get a pencil and paper handy. I'm gonna give you our email address in just a minute. If you see anything you're interested in, we can combine several days or both weeks of videos before we ever ship up anything out to you or settle up. So now I'm gonna show you our email address. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. Email is the letter K-C-A-R-L-I-S-L at A-T-T dot N-E-T. Please note there's no E on the end of Carlisle on our email address. We've already previously gone over table number one, table number two, further down, case number one, case number two, and today we're gonna to be on case number three. So if you see anything you're interested in, we'd like you to reference it by the table number three or case number three. And we'll go over each item on these tables, on this table. First item on the list is we have a 459 round colonial basket. This is the eight inch size. It really measures about 14 and a half total, but they call it eight inch because you measure the baskets across the handle. This one has a Mums or a Susan decoration. It was done by Heisey and it's priced $175. Have a Trident candle holder with minuet etch. It's $17.50. A Fair Acre water pitcher and flamingo, diamond optic, all flamingo. And it's priced $185 and this Pitcher is in very good condition. Most of the time these have lots of wear in the body. This one does not. We have three Aqua Calientes and Flamingo and they're priced $75 a piece. Have three Whaley beer mugs with Fox Chase etch. Has a scene of a guy on a horse, there's dogs and they're jumping over a fence. Each one of these is signed, and each, each mug is $65 a piece. Have a wing scroll 5 inch pin tray in custer glass, and it's $55. Have a pair of New Era candelabras with the prisms. They have the detachable bobishes that just lift right off the top, and they're priced $95 for the pair. A helmet basket and flamingo, hard to find piece, and it's priced $650. Arch tumbler and cobalt blue, and the ribs on this are in fairly good shape, might have a little bit of roughness on them, and it's priced $95. Good, deep, rich cobalt color. Recess panel, eight inch. I'm sorry, eight pound candy jar. This is the largest candy jar that Heisey made. It's got a beautiful gold and roses decoration on it. And it's priced $1,650. Wing scroll, custard, butter dish and cover. Good gold, priced $125. Waverly, orchid etched. Two-part nut where you can put a spoon on either end and gather your nuts out of it, and it's priced $30. An urn bud vase with high Z rose decorations, 10 inches, and it's priced $145. Putney and Diamond Point cruet, nice and clean on the inside. It's got a good stopper to it and it's priced $55. A single number two, a Williamsburg candle holder, and it's priced $8. An easy way to tell these from the ones that Westmoreland made, Heise is gonna have six sides on top. If you find one that's round on top, that's gonna to be Westmoreland. 
Another round colonial basket has a cutting on it. I can't remember the name of the cutting, but I do guarantee this is a high Z cutting on it. It's an eight inch size and it's priced $125. have two Oxford cordials with Maryland cut and they're priced $35 a piece. Cabochon cordial, south wind cutting, priced $75. Octagon basket and flamingo with a nice little daisy cutting on it, goes all the way around the end and it's priced $175. Powder Pigeon, price $425. Twist Flamingo Water Pitcher, $125. We have five Albemarle wine glasses with Chateau cutting on them and they're priced $25 a piece. Four cocktail glasses, same pattern, $18 a piece. And two Albemarle saucer champagne, Chateau cutting on them, and they're priced $16.50 a piece. We have a Gallagher water pitcher with high Z rose etching, and it's priced $265. Beaded Swag Cruet and Opal does not have the high Z original stopper in it. It's priced $35. It's a cut stopper, but it is not original to the piece. Three Colonial Cordials, and they're priced $16 a piece. Coronor Zircon Ashtray, priced $95. Old Queen Anne Crute, two ounce size, very difficult one to find, clean on the inside, price $75. The stopper is damaged is on the part that goes in the bottle. Picket Fence Basket in Flamingo, and it's priced $145. Double Ribbon Panel Basket in Moongleam, $85. Here's a shoe display. You put your shoe here with the heel here so it holds it up in the store. It's got a little damage on the corners and it has a high Z socket that you use for the base on it. Just screws right in it and it's priced $95. Round Colonial Basket, eight inch size, has mums decoration and it's priced $75. That is a high Z etching on there. Twist vinegar and oil, $10. The stopper's whacked on the bottom. Clean on the inside. Pair of Windsor candle holders, looks like seven and a half inch size, and these are priced $15 for the pair. Same pair of candle holders in 12 inch size, and they're priced 135, I'm sorry, they're priced $150 for the pair. Little Prince Crit, unusual shape on this, price $65, and it is clean on the inside. Wing Scroll Crit in crystal. Most of the time you see these in custard glass. This one's hard to find crystal. It's got a stopper in it. Looks like it's the right one. It is not the correct stopper in it, and the stopper's got a chip on the bottom of it. And it's priced $115 because it is in crystal. Empress Lemon Dish in Flamingo, $75, with a little dolphin finial on top. It's a nice high Z crook marked on the side. It's got a full cut stopper in it. Got cutting all the way around the base to match, and it's priced $85. It is clean on the inside. They've even cut a star on the bottom. Have Duquesne, two parfaits and they're priced $110 a piece. One of them is a dark tangerine, one of them's a light tangerine. So if you want one, please specify which one you want. The price is the same on both of them. Sahara, 
old sandwich water pitcher with the ice slip and it's priced $145. Two 18 ounce beer mugs in Sahara, old sandwich, $175 a piece. And here's a smaller version of that. I think this is probably either a 10 or 12 inch size, $75 and it says there's scratches. There's a little scratch going right across there. Jacob Ian, pair of candle holders. These look to be about 10 inch size. They only made them in one size, $225 for the pair. We have four Kimberly cocktail glasses with skier decoration on the top. You can take one, two, three, or all four of them, and they're $45 a piece. Have a pair of Georgian candle holders, and they're $35 for the pair. Beaded panel and sunburst, cake basket or banana stand, whatever you want to call it, and it's priced $125. Nice early pattern. Here's another banded picket basket and flamingo, $135. Twist, nasturtium bowl, and moongling, $55, and it does have some chips on the feet. Here's a pair of Flamingo candle holders. I believe they're called Swirl, and it's $45 for the pair. Spanish cordial with a very elaborate cutting on the bowl, and it's priced $95. Another round colonial basket. I believe this one's called Susan Decoration, and it's priced $195. Ridgely covered comport. Got a nice lid on it, comes off. The lid's almost as heavy as the bottom is, and it's $65. Here's a sunburst variant, small water pitcher. It's got the sunburst design, but it also has these punties added to the top of it. And it's priced $125. Pleat and panel cruet and flamingo is clean on the inside, and it's priced $45. Empress, Cruet, Moon Gleam Foot, Moon Gleam Stopper, and it's priced $65. Clean on the inside. Have a single tricorn candle holder, and it's priced $65 in Flamingo. Flamingo stack, creamer, and sugar. Sugar bowl goes right on top of the Creamer goes right on top of the sugar bowls. Price $40. I believe there's a little nick. Yeah, there's a little nick on the bottom of the creamer. So that concludes table number three. If you see anything on table number three you're interested in, please reference table number three so we'll know exactly where you saw it. If you're not sure what the item is, just tell, it what, tell us what it was near and we'll be able to find it. So now we're going to go to case number three, since this is the third day. So I'm going to dim all the lights because we think you can see the case better when the lights are dimmed. We're going to start right at the top right corner. We have a large Madonna, $650, and she's frosted. Have two Spanish cordials, and they're $225 a piece. Elephant handle beer mug in the back, priced $165. Measuring cup, these are hard to find, it's $485, and these are signed high C. Bear Acre Flamingo Water Pitcher is priced $165, and it does have wear on the outside of the body. Next, we have a Benson & Hedges Moon Gleam Tobacco Jar. It is signed Heise, and it is also signed Benson & Hedges Company, and it has a date in there, I think December 30th, 1915, or something like that. And the top of it has been cleaned, so it is in good condition. And it's $1,450.
have three Sahara favor vases. First, we have a 4230 favor vase in Sahara. It's $175. Next, we have a 4231 favor vase. It's priced $175. And we have a 4232, I'm sorry, 42, I've got the number wrong on that one. I'm not sure what the number is, but it's priced $245. If you want to see these favor vases, you can go to Vogel, book number three, page 111, and it shows them as well as the numbers. Next, we have a Flamingo bonnet basket, seven inch size, and that's measured across the handle. It's $165. A Fancy Loop toothpick holder, it's $125. Then we have a ram's head cocktail shaker. And I don't know if Pam can zoom in on that or not, but I forgot to write the price down. Can you see the price? I think it's $375. Emerald wing scroll toothpick holder, fair gold, $85. Emerald fancy loop shot glass, $65. And a Pied Piper shot glass for $65. Next down, second shelf, case number three, have a one pint Cobalt cocktail shaker with Orchid Etch is $125. A Yorkshire cordial with Galloway Bay cutting on it, $100. A Jamestown cordial on the left hand side with Chef Phil cutting, $85. A Jamestown cordial on the right hand side with Narcissus cut, that's $85. Then the back, we have a Yeoman four ounce perfume with Windsor cutting with a long dripper on the inside, and it's $95. Right in front of that, we have a Yeoman two ounce cologne with a long perfume dripper, and it does have a nice cutting on it for $55. A Mama Pig or a Sow, $350. We have two sitting piglets for $35 a piece, and three walking piglets for $45 a piece. Next, we have a pair of Ipswich Cobalt candle vases, including the inserts that are also on Cobalt Blue, and it's $1,650 for the pair. Vaseline Wing Scroll 8.5 inch Nappy, very rare items here, $950. Lock it on a chain, gas light shade with a crimp top. There is one bead missing. It is still $95 for the shade. Small little lavender jar, which will fit right in the palm of your hand, and it is $35. A signet or a baby swan is $95. Then we have a bonnet basket in crystal, seven inch size with a very elaborate water scene with a water bird with tall, uh, a long neck and long legs on it, and it is $1,500. Moongleam octagon basket, with a very elaborate cutting, $850, and a flamingo octagon basket with another elaborate cutting, it's $575. Four Gascony tangerine soda glasses, each one is six and one quarter inches tall, and they're $225 a piece. You can buy one all or all four of them. We have five Spanish goblets, Cobalt blue, they're $60 a piece. We have a very rare Moongleam Warwick Horn of Plenty candle holder, and it's priced $875. A banded flute ashtray and matchbox holder for $25. Empress dolphin footed nut with a fancy cutting on it, $18. Puritan full cut square salt cellar, $12 and a half. Moongleam Duck Ashtray, $125. A Fruited Colonial Crush Fruit Jar, $225. Pair of Lodestar Dawn Candle Light, I'm sorry, Candle, Candle Cup Candles, they're $125 for the pair. Convex Spooner, up on the upright in the back, for $85, very hard to find piece. Two blown Stanhope wine glasses with elaborate cuttings on them, $25 a piece. And a 4042 Glen Cruet with Windsor cutting on it. It is clean on the inside 
and it is priced $225. So shelf number four, case three, in the back we have a raindrop flamingo water pitcher for $245. Twist Moongleam ice tub for $110. Asiatic pheasant for $165. Small horse head stopper to a cocktail shaker. It's never been ground in, so it's been used as a paperweight. $55. We have a plantation prototype cruet. If you notice on this, there are no pineapples on the body. When they first made this cruet, they didn't come out with pineapples. They added the pineapples later. And this one, where the pineapples normally are, there's a nice gray cutting that's been added to it. And it is $225. Pair of Ridgely skirted panel shape candelabras, and they're priced $165. A plantation three-part relish, $18. Narrow flute flamingo pickle dish, $30. A hotel syrup for $145. Pair of fish candle holders for $325. And a dawn 20th century water pitcher, milk pitcher, I'm sorry, is $115. So now the bottom shelf, right hand side, we have a scarce narrow flute basket for $475. Empress Flamingo Creamer and Sugar for $45. Six inch Puritan Horsehead Cigarette Box, $55. A Madonna, no frosting whatsoever on this one, $65. Larry Red Round Deviled Egg Plate, very good condition, $175. We have a Frosted Madonna with a clear face that is marked Heise, it's $65. Old Sandwich Flamingo Cruet, $225, it is clear on the inside. Old Sandwich Flamingo Pitcher with no ice slip, it's $125. And a pair of Old Waynesburg 11 inch candlesticks, $130 for the pair. That concludes our video for today. If you see anything you're interested in, all you have to do is call, text, or email and tell us that you see something you like and you want to purchase it. So we have case number three, and down at the far end we have table number three. Hope to see you tomorrow for table number four and case number four. Goodbye.